Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to use Google AI Studio to generate some fantastic images completely free of charge. Now, what is going to blow your mind about this is that you can edit the image on your own using prompt that you can just send in prompt and you can have the AI edit the image however you want it. And it is still completely free to alter the images, to add details, to remove details. You can do all this completely free of charge. So, so to start, let's just go ahead, open your browser, go to the search bar and you can just search for Google AI Studio, just like so, and hit on enter and you can select in the first option. You can just go ahead and log in with your email account. If you have a free Gmail account, you can just go ahead and log in with it. So once you're here, this is the platform. You can see quite a lot of things here, but our main target for today is on the image generation. You have the soft geometry, the math tutorial, the plant care, and so much more to build. You can chat in and do so many more things. But then my target is the image generation. And you know, Google AI had just released the Google 2.0 Flash, which is the image generation model. You can see it over here, still incorporated with Gemini. You can come over and select it. And now you are on the uh, Gemini 2.0 Flash, which is the image generation experimental model. Now, once you're here, you can just go ahead and click on create prompt and you can select the model. And then you can come down here and ask your prompt. Okay, so let's say, all right, can you generate the image of a man holding a lion on a busy street? So you can just hit on enter and let's give you some seconds to see how this is going to generate. So you can see this is very much fantastic. It is holding the lion on a very busy street and you can see how fantastic this is. So you can go ahead and edit this. You can give another prompt. Can you replace the lion with a monkey and include a rope, okay, tied on the monkey's waist, okay, tied on the monkey's waist, and you can just hit on enter and go ahead and hit on run, and this is going to replace the lion with the monkey, and then it will introduce a rope, and the rope is going to be tied on the monkey's waist and you can see it directly you can see the one it has created now it is the same man which is maintaining consistency maintaining the same street it has really replaced the lion with a monkey and look at the rope and it is being tied in the waist now we can ask it to replace the image background for example as it replaced the image background with eiffel tower for example Eiffel Tower. All right, so let's say replace the image background with Eiffel Tower. So let's go ahead and hit on run. And you'll be amazed by how wonderful this is going to be. It is going to truly replace this background with the Eiffel Tower. You can see it. <laughs> this is really, really next level. It's a busy street, but then the background has been replaced completely. What I like most about it is the consistency of the character. Can change things and then you can add things on your own so this is how to bring in different things if you like you can change the outfit change the outfit of the man and let him wear corporate dress with suit and tie okay so you can just go ahead and click on run and it is going to change the outfit from here maintaining the same background and then you'll be marveled about what it is going to generate you can see it has changed the outfit it has now given it a corporate outfit with a suit and tie okay still holding the monkey so you can download this and use at any given point you can just click and you can see your image has been downloaded now you can add in many more prompts let me tell you one more thing that it can do for you for example if you have an image that has a watermark, you can just bring in the image and you'll have this AI clean up the watermark in a matter of seconds. For example, this particular image, this one, let me import an image and we can remove. So come to the plus sign. Let's say upload an image. Let's go in here. I have this image that has watermark all over. You can see the watermark. I can just upload it and say remove all the watermark. on this image and you'll see don't enter and let's go ahead and click on run and you'll be surprised that it is going to remove all the watermark and give us a watermark free image directly 
and you can see it has removed the watermark only that it removes the boy along the way but it has done a wonderful job because it has fantastically removed all the watermark that we have in there so you can upload other images like for example i can upload my image i can upload my image from here looking kind of a bit serious here i can say can you change the dress of the person in the picture to casual to casual right so let's see whether it is going to do that for us and you can see how fantastically it has done it and then i can ask it can you add a sunglasses to his face and a hat all right so let's see whether it is going to do that as well so you can vary and add different things to the image that you want this is really really next level it does quite a lot of things for you completely free and you can see it has added the hat and the sunglasses and this is really really wonderful so you can see you can click and you can download it as well uh, very easily now one thing is i can ask it to maybe add something all right so the next thing is i want the ai to replace these sunglasses with a different one so i can just go ahead and upload it from here and say upload an image and let's say we have these sunglasses and just import let me try to say replace the glasses with this one okay so i can come over here and say run and let's see whether it is going to replace the glasses and you can see wonderfully it has done that it has replaced the glasses with the one that we've just added so you can just go ahead and explore and see what you can do with this tool remember it is completely free of charge to use all of these tools and you can just try it on your own and see how you can play around with your images okay so this concludes this very basic tutorial about the wonders of google ai studio that introduced the gemini 2.0 flash image generation experimental that does wonders on your images i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye